2,500 packed into Tala for this Dublin derby. Here's Danny Grant. Good run by Grant. Grant into the penalty area. Oh, he's missed it. What a chance that was for Danny Grant. Ethan Boyle completes the clearance. In on goal, Danny Grant, but he already scuffed his shot across goal. And Boyle was able to clear. Good burn. Danny Watts in the way. Watts goes to ground. As does Buckley, referee Robert Harvey. We have two fouls to deal with there, really. Kick for Bohemians. Go short to Dan Byrne. This is Keith Ward. Miss it the slice out from Ward. Ward shoots! Oh, good save by Kevin Horgan. Well, he got a certain amount of criticism for the goals against Dundalk last week, but this time, fingertip save from the shot from Keith Ward. Those have created the best chances in the opening half. The crossfield ball to pick out on Stokes on that left-hand side. He's got Lunny in the centre, here he is. Lunny, saves, and Ward! Oh, couldn't find the target. Combination of goalkeeper and defender kept that out. But Ward perhaps should have scored. It's a lovely crossfield ball to pick out Stokes in the first place. There's Lunny in the centre. Good save by Horgan. Ward with the follow-up. Missed it. Over then for Bohemians, crowded penalty area. Here's Daddy Watts with the shot charged down Ian Morris. And Horgan was scrambling. And Bowes are the better side in the opening minutes here in Tala. Get forward towards Carr. And that's going to play for Shamrock Rovers. Throw. Graham Burke, that's foot across the pick out, Carr! Oh, what a finish from Dan Carr, a little against the run of play, 28 minutes in, and he celebrates his fourth league goal of the season, his third in as many games, and a clever finish by Carr, leaps high and knocks that in with his studs to put Rovers ahead. And then celebration time. header, this is Watts, good turn by Watts, Danny Grant, coming in from that right wing, Grant with Luke Byrne for company, Grant goes to ground, and no penalty says referee Robert Harvey, well Luke Byrne might consider himself a little fortunate, the Bohemians players remonstrating with the referee, Ward in particular is aggrieved, here it is again, Grant faced by Byrne, just nicks the ball past him. And that looked like a penalty, but not given. So, taken by Keith Buckley. It's a giveaway ball to Watts. Good run by Danny Watts, gets to the byline, gets his cross in. Oh! And the ball was headed across goal towards Stokes by Ward, but he just wasn't tall enough to get something on the ball. And Rovers relieved to get it clear. Bohemians pressing at every opportunity. Here's Buckley again. And that's going to dribble out for a corner. It was the ball across to Ward, intelligent header, and Stokes just not big enough. Luke Byrne. Former Bohemians player indeed taking this throw for Shamrock Rovers, who still lead by a goal to nil. Here's Coos Train, the substitute. Wriggles between two defenders. The shot in the end straight at Shane Supple. Burns throw to pick up Coos Train. Good turn by the sub. Between two defenders before he hit it straight at the goalkeeper. Keep on, this is the instructions. Stokes. Buckley. Into Watts. Watts crossed to the back post to pick out Dan Byrne. It's been coming, and you can't say the post don't deserve it. 69 minutes in, and the big defender 
has equalised for Bohemians. Ball in by Watts is a teasing, telling one. And there's Byrne lurking to hammer it past Horgan. And it's game on in Tala. Keith Long will be absolutely delighted with that. Unfortunately, some ugly scenes. Referee Robert Harvey has actually stopped the contest. There's two sets of supporters square up to each other. It's the Bohemians end of the ground to the right-hand side. Well, the challenge by Watts has been a fiercely contested match all night. Stokes of the ball down the line. Oh, Corcoran! Straight at the end at Horgan. On as a sub, Diddy Corcoran. Nearly forced that one home. Ball down the line to Dara Leahy. And Corcoran shot straight at the end at Horgan. Will we get a winner in this terrific contest in Tala? This Dublin Derby certainly living up to his bidding. That's a strong challenge and maybe a yellow card as well. Yep, substitute Fiddy Gannon sees yellow after that challenge on Graham Burke. And a free kick for Shamrock Rovers. In an advantageous position on the left-hand side of the penalty area. Sean Cavanagh's going to dig this one in. And a across goal. Oh, what a save from Supple. Gary Shaw's header was heading in before he reached out a right arm and pawed it away to keep it at 1-1. Terrific save by Shane Supple. Supple's on clearance. Just over everybody's head. Oh, charged down. He's eventually get it clear. Not that far, though. There's Danny Watts. This near side. There's Grant. He's got Buckley outside of him, but he's going to go alone. Grant across the penalty area to Dara Leahy! Would you believe it? Nine minutes of added time have been played, and Bohemians have won it. They won the opening day derby against their old foes at Dalymount Park, and they've won it again in the 99th minute as the 19 year old Dara Leahy forces the ball home past Horgan. And Bowes lead two to one. I thought it was in complete contrast to the previous game, the opener at the start of the season. It was an open, entertaining game with lots of chances at both ends. But I think, I think our lads showed a lot of courage tonight, and they showed, you know, how good good players uh, they they are. And hopefully we can we can springboard from here now. You know, it's 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 okay uh, to be Shamrock Rovers, and we're really pleased. Our supporters are go home happy, but we've got to kick on from here. We we've got to.